If you've ever had to endure the agony of assembling furniture with poorly written instructions, or you've navigated a confusing website, or you decided you should eat some more chips based on the nutritional facts at the back of the package, then chances are you've interacted with technical writing. Technical writing is a specific kind of writing which is designed primarily for the purposes of instructing, informing, guiding, or directing. It is always for a specific audience type. It usually follows a predictable template or model and it rarely ever incorporates the long-form prose you'd find in a traditional essay or article. The menu in a restaurant is a technical document, and so is your course syllabus. Your academic transcript and your resume are all examples of technical writing. Even though the phrase technical writing is commonly used, modern technical documents routinely incorporate audiovisual elements as well as interactive components. Not only are the technical writers concerned with what the end user will read, but how the information is arranged visually, as well as what other kinds of elements could be included to enhance the document, and ultimately, what the user experience will be from interacting with the technical documents. Essentially, a technical writer is just as concerned about the content of the technical document as well as whether the end user can seamlessly use that document. There are a few ideas that technical writers have to take into consideration when creating their document, given that this type of writing is much more goal-oriented than other forms of written communication. The first of these areas of consideration is the purpose or subject of the document. The purpose of the document will inform virtually every aspect of the document from the layout to the length to the level of formality. An instructional manual, for instance, will have instructional information written in numbered lists, using short sentences in the active voice and usually lacking an overt subject. A menu, on the other hand, will have menu items listed according to the meal category, using just the names rather than sentences and including price information. The appendix to a manual will have safety and legal information, while the end material in a menu might be a short promotional paragraph. The point here is that the purpose of the document needs to be explicitly reflected in all the other design decisions in the technical document. Your audience or end user is the next critical area that will need your attention when designing a technical document. Your audience will determine the complexity of the document the scope of the content and the level of detail that you choose to include. The audience could even determine the final format of your technical document. A printed document might be suitable for one end user, but another end user might need your technical document as a website or a mobile app. In many ways, the audience is almost like a co-creator of the final product. Since a technical writer might rely on the successive consultations with their client to finalize a project. The style and tone are also important aspects of any kind of technical writing. Though the genre of writing is called technical writing, it doesn't necessarily mean that the language has to be overly technical. Think about a document intended to instruct middle school children about hygiene and safety precautions for preventing communicable diseases. This is a technical document as well, but the language would have to be adjusted to suit the audience. In fact, a document like this may not even be a document in the traditional sense, but instead a chart, a video, or a song. Finally, for the purpose of this course, I think it's important that the user experience for the technical document be given some consideration. A focused, well-written document that is mindful of the audience and incorporates the appropriate style, but has a poor user experience, is overall a bad example of a technical document. It won't matter how well the instructions were crafted, if the text is too small or the color contrast of the document makes it illegible. The user experience encompasses all the ways in which the end user interacts with the technical document, from the moment they access it to when they achieve the goal they had intended. If your plan is to create useful, professionally designed technical documents, 
that your audience will love, then those areas will have to be your main priority.